right, a couple tips for the cable flies. See a lot of guys, they really, first of all, round forward, so they're getting a lot of front delts involved. They're also bringing their hands together, so the angle of their arm is facing outwards. I just want you, even without weights, squeeze the elbows together. So instead of thinking of bringing the hands together, I want you to focus on bringing those elbows together, really pushing, pushing the upper arm up against the chest. Keeping the shoulders down, so don't let them shrug up. Don't let the shoulders round forward and keep a nice upright posture. So I'm gonna keep the shoulders down, shoulders back, let the elbows bend a bit, and then bring the elbows forward. I'm gonna do a drop set right now. Yeah. All right, so we're aiming for six to 10 reps each of these drop sets. So this first set is gonna begin with a pretty challenging weight. I think I got 55 pounds on here, and I drop it 10 pounds at a time. But with this initial weight, because I'm challenging myself and I am a lightweight, sometimes it can be tough to maintain good posture. Uh, you're very tempted to lean forward a bit. So I'm trying to keep myself as upright as I can and making sure that I keep my shoulders back and down. One of the keys with keeping the shoulders back is that you're gonna get more contact, your upper arm squeezing up against your chest. You're gonna feel, I guarantee you'll feel much more, a much greater contraction in your pecs, whereas if you're reaching forward in front of you. I see so many people reaching way too far in front of themselves causing their shoulders to round forward, and that puts more tension on the, the anterior delts, the front delts. So notice how my shoulders stay back, and I got a good portion of my upper arm squeezing against my pecs. Really trying to drive those elbows together, forcing the upper arm to kind of cross my body a bit. That's where I'm getting the maximum contraction and then allow my elbows to bend back a bit on the way back there. So they're not staying completely straight. I'm getting a bit of a stretch. And again, don't stretch too far. I find if you stretch too far, some of the tension um, or your focus, uh, it, it shifts away from the pecs and again gets onto the delts and then you're forced to like really contract your delts out of the, the hole um, in order to get the movement going. So I just stretch back as far as you can where you're still feeling that tension on the pecs and then the key is to contract your pecs first before driving those elbows together. So really get that contraction initiated with the pecs instead of the delts. I find a lot of people that are using momentum, I guarantee if you don't focus and focus on contracting those pecs out of the hole in the back, um, you're gonna use a lot of anterior delts to get that initial movement going, as well as biceps. I mean, your biceps are gonna be involved in this movement a bit too. But really make sure get that stretch, contract the pecs, and then really enhance that squeeze by driving those elbows together, pushing that upper arm against the pecs. Marinate in that contraction, man. Like, squeeze the shit out of it there. That's really gonna enhance that mind-muscle connection. This is how we started off our workout. So it really sets the stage for a killer, killer, mind-muscle connected chest workout, push workout. Phenomenal, give it a shot.